Okay, so I got a request from a student uh, for talking about identifying strong or weak gases uh, in bases from a sketch, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the explanation and show you, sort of walk through what's going on here, the key definitions. So definitions are, we're gonna say an acid is something which Alex calls HA uh, in this case. An acid is something that reacts with water to get rid of its H plus, right? You see how it got rid of its H plus? HA, if I get rid of an H plus, I must have an A minus left behind, and the H plus is gonna get piggyback in on a, piggybacked on our water molecule, okay? So uh, that's a complete. Now this goes to completion. If it's strong, by definition, it goes to completion. Can you see that? That means that there's no none of this left, okay? So if I have a strong acid, a picture of a strong acid, there's not gonna be any uh, blue spheres with a white sphere on it, none of it, because it all went that way. Now there's a lot of water, so we'll have some water left behind, but we won't have any of that. All of the blue spheres are going to be by themselves if it's a strong acid, okay? Now let's talk about a strong base. A strong base is going to be, in the context of this um, story, a strong base is going to be uh, something that has an OH on it, right? Can you see that? There's if if uh, if. H2O is represented by a red sphere with two white spheres on it. The red is an oxygen. There's a hydrogen right there, so an OH. A strong base is going to be something that gets rid of all of its OHs, right? So if it's strong, it goes to completion. It means that if we see a, if we if we're to look at a sketch of a strong base, we won't see any of this in there. It'll all be separated. Okay. Now a weak base is going to go back and forth. The arrow that's typically drawn, which I think should be drawn here, is going to be a back, you know, back and forth arrow, okay? So you're gonna have, in a weak base, you're gonna have some of this and some of that, right? And some of this and some of that, all right? So let's go to, with those definitions in mind, let's go here to, we have a strong acid. Now, if it's a strong acid, don't forget that the strong acid, the blue uh, sphere, had a little white ball on it that was the strong acid, but it all breaks apart, right? And so, and sure enough, we don't have any blue spheres with a white sphere on it. And so this is probably it. And so when the white sphere comes off, where's it go? It goes on top of a water molecule. So let's count these up, make sure everything's here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like there's six blue spheres. If there's six blue balls, then there must be uh, six water molecules that have an extra hydrogen on it, right? And there's one of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. Son of a gun. That's my strong acid, okay? So uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave that as it is. Let's move over then to uh, a weak acid. A weak acid is going to have some of the blue spheres, uh, but they're going to have some white balls still on them, okay? So this is not a weak acid because it looks like none of the blue balls have lost their hydrogen, right? So let's go on over here. There's no blue balls in here at all. Okay, here's a blue sphere, and here's one that's, that's lost its hydrogen, and there's one that's got it, okay? So here's a blue sphere that's lost its hydrogen. Here's one that's got it, so we've got both of those. So this could be a weak acid. Now let's count these up. Uh, this goes here. One, two, three have lost it. It looks like there's three white spheres. So this everything counts, okay? Now, I'm a little surprised that the white sphere is not piggybacking on a water molecule. This will fit for a weak acid, but usually these are drawn with it piggybacking on a water molecule. So let's see if there's one like that. Okay, now that's not one. It looks like all the blue and the white spheres have separated, so that would be a strong. Okay, here's one. And aha, it's piggybacking on a water molecule. Do you see that? So I've got one, two blue, one, I'm sorry, one, two, three that have separated and one, two, three that have not. And the one, the one, two, three that have separated, they've lost their H pluses. It looks like there's one, two, three. Aha, this is the one. So it looks like Alex is gonna require us to have the white sphere on top of the water molecule, okay? So here's my H3O plus, there's my H A, there's my A minus, and there's my H two O. Okay, so this is it. All right, so let's get some green, and we'll do one more example. Do one more example. We'll go through the same process. Okay, so again, okay, we're looking for a strong acid and a strong base. 
So a strong acid was, that was with a blue a sphere with a white sphere on it. That's the strong acid, but it separates, they all separate. It looks like these are, there's no, there's none left. So this is possibly at one, two, three, four, five, six. So it should be one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is a strong acid, right? Can you see how all of these uh, A's have lost their H's? And they're all piggybacked on all else. This is definitely a strong acid. So let's go over here now to a strong base. The strong bases had a hydroxide in there. Remember that was a, there's a hydroxide right there. Yeah, son of a gun. That's it right there. There's a hydroxide. It looks like it's separated from its B, right? Remember it was a B and an OH, okay? BOH, one, two, three, four, five, six of those. One, two, three, four, five, Six. That's it. Son of a gun. I didn't do anything at all to that. So it looks like my B's and my OH's are all entirely separated. And so that's also a strong, that's a strong base. Let's get some green on that. We'll do one more example. Okay. More practice. Okay. So we're looking for weak acid here. So that means we need some of the, some of the HA and we need some of the A minus. Okay. So see an HA here. Here's an HA and here's an HA. Ah, but none of them have lost their white sphere. So this is not a weak acid. Let's come over here. Okay, some of them have lost it, but it's not piggybacking on a water molecule. Okay, so I, I, we're gonna find one. I'm, I'm betting that we're gonna find a, one that's got some HA and some A minus, and then some with the H plus that's piggybacking on a water molecule. Let's keep going. All right, so there's, a, there's an HA, there's an A minus, and there's the water molecule with a piggy with the H, H. This is my H3O plus, right? Water molecule with a H plus piggybacking on it. So let's count everything, make sure everything adds up. One, two, three have lost their their white ball. You see that? One without a white ball, two without a white ball, three without a white ball. So there must be three white balls that have been piggybacking on a water molecule. Sure enough, one, two, three. There they are. Okay. So this is a weak acid. Now a weak base is not going to a weak base is not going to have the hydroxide on there, right? There's my hydroxide and there's none, no hydroxides without it. So that's definitely not it. Okay. So here's one though. Here's a weak base and it's taken, you see, see a, what, what used to be a water molecule right here, but it's lost one of its white balls. Where did it go? Went over to that, right? So this definitely is it. There's my B and there's my BH. Okay. And my H3O plus, or my H2O, H2O, and there's a OH minus. This is definitely my weak base. You see it? All right, I think I'm going to leave it at that. We've done several examples here. I think I'm not gonna do any more for you. Go back and read the explanation. If you don't like that, go back and read the explanation, and then come back and uh, look at these again. Do a couple more examples, and let me know if you want more, uh, and if you want more help on that. Okay, good luck.